One more thing, if I can. You once told me that there's a party in everybody that I meet. There's a party in every person that I've attracted. I don't always see it. Is it because they're not bringing it, or is it because I'm not... Well, let's talk about this for a little bit. So you're getting the sense of this vibrational mix that is you. You have desires and you have beliefs and you have things that you really like and things that you don't like. And depending upon what you're focused upon or what you've been recently focusing upon, you've got this mix of vibration. So you've got this point of attraction going on, this point of letting it in going on. What's really interesting, this point of attraction, we would like you to see it as you're saying, come, but don't come. Come to me this thing I want, but I'm not going to let you in. Come to me this thing I want, but I'm not going to let you in. That's the potential mix. Come, don't come, come, don't come. I want it, but I want it, but I want it, but I want it, but. So you've got this mix of vibration going on. And on some subjects, you're more allowing of what you want. And on some subjects, you're more resistant. It just depends upon what the mix of vibration or the mix of beliefs is about whatever it is that you've been thinking about. So. Now, take all of that. We felt you get that. And now, take yourself to a meeting place with others. And ask yourself, just for the sake of this important clarification, what am I bringing to the table? Because that's all that really matters. Law of Attraction has brought you together because you are all similar in vibrational nature. Let's say your average of vibrations is similar. Here's an important thing. You know how we say step one is ask and step two is it is given, it is answered. And step three is you've got to be in the receiving mode. And then step four is having practiced step three so well that you are steadily there. That's like mastery of step three. Funny that step four is the mastery of step three, but it is. You're really, 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 really good at it. And then step five is you're so good at it that even when you slip back into step one, which is inevitable because you're constantly expanding, that's the never get it done part that we were talking about. You're now not mad at yourself for being back in step one. In fact, you are praising the contrast and even the negative emotion because it's necessary to the continual expansion. So here you are, you've come to this party, you've come to this table, you've come to this rendezvous with others. And the question that you want to ask yourself is what am I bringing to the mix? Because that's the only thing that you have control over. Now it is certain that whatever's there you've attracted, but Sometimes, you know how we've been telling you the story for a long time that sometimes when someone makes their transition into non-physical and you're still in your physical body and you're missing them and you're wanting them and you want to hear from them and you want to know how they are, but you're blocking it. I want to know, but I'm not allowing myself to. I want to know, but you're looking for love in all the wrong places. You're looking for them as they physically were and now they're not still physical. So you're looking for the characteristics that were them, even though many of those characteristics that were them aren't them now because they're no longer ornery or they're no longer afraid or they're no longer whatever. And so how a bird will come and bring you a message. And we've said to you that the birds make great messengers because there are so many of them around and because they're always in the receiving mode. And so source can offer an impulse to a bird and the bird receives the impulse and just brings it right to you. Just brings it right to you and just tweets it right to you. Just tweets it right to you. And sometimes you get that. Sometimes it is such a meaningful rendezvous with such a weird little bird in such a weird situation that you know for sure someone sent that bird to tell you something. You say, I don't get what you're saying, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so often when you have mastered that step three so that you are in step four and you're feeling good and you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and there's joy in your heart mostly, very often you receive an impulse from source so that you get to be the step two part of somebody else's equation. So giving and receiving all sort of roll in one. In other words, you're in the receptive mode, you're receiving so much that it's just flowing to you and through you and to you and through you and to you and through you. So when you rendezvous with someone, it might be because there's something at that party that you're looking for. And it might be because there's something at their party that they're looking for. And usually it's some of all of that you're giving and receiving to each other. That's when law of attraction is working at its best, you see. But the only thing that you have any control over is what is your mix when you get there. And if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would do our best to make sure that we are in the receiving mode as much as possible 
for our own benefit as much as possible but especially when you're coming together with others which means if you've meditated and quieted your mind and stopped all resistance and allowed yourself to tune to that frequency that's a very powerful tool for being in the receiving mode and when you are in the receiving mode then two things happen regardless of what the mix is that you rendezvous with the first thing that happens is if you're really in the receiving mode is you're not bothered by wherever they are wherever they are doesn't threaten you it doesn't annoy you it might even amuse you but if you're really in the receptive mode then sometimes you get to play the step two role in their experience and it's very satisfying the other thing that often happens is that because you're so tuned in you're just having a joyful experience anyway it's like having really good shock absorbers and often you will receive some of your best ideas or some of your best insights that's what happens in a gathering like this Esther is completely in the receiving mode so you're doing step one we're doing step two and Esther's doing step three that's what's going on here and so what a satisfying experience it is and what a nice mix it is you see the thing that you want to say about any rendezvous is it is what it is stop trying to make the now place where you're standing be something other than what it is it is what it is and it's okay and why is what is okay because it is you can't do anything about it it's got to be okay you've got to let it be okay because if it's anything less than okay now you're dissatisfied if you could whittle all of these emotions that we've given you along this emotional scale whittle them down to just two because from where you stand let's say you're disappointed and you want to be elated well that's too much of a vibrational jump to make all at once but you could feel a little better if you will try to interpret your emotions as I'm satisfied or I'm not satisfied it will be an easier thing for you reach for the best satisfaction that you can find what's at the heart of this what's causing you to ask this string of questions last time I was in the hot seat you know we talked about uh, I think your quote was boy I've made a bitch out of you and I took that you know and I listened to it and it did the conversation make you feel defensive it did it did because I don't like to feel like I would do that to somebody else but obviously it's my projection when I would come to the table and bring myself into joining with people and I figured the best way to not do that is to find those people that I don't jive with or that don't sync up with me and move them away and but you see now you're trying to do the work of law of attraction and that's not your work it is so complicated when you think here I am moving through the world and there are all these different things that are happening with all these different people and all these different things that are happening with me and I got to find some way of rendezvousing just right with everybody and we say ah give it a break you can't possibly do that just trust that law of attraction is showing you what you've got going on vibrationally and just do your best to sync up with who you really are but here's the answer that you're really looking for let the first thing that you do be get into vibrational alignment with who you are and then go out into the world we're really encouraging and if you've been listening to us lately you're annoyed with us because just about all we say is go meditate go meditate because when you quiet your mind you stop resistance and when you stop resistance then your vibration rises to the frequency of who you really are and when your vibration has risen to the frequency of who you really are now you're really in the receptive mode and now you are able to receive the impulses from your inner being who knows everything that you want and where you are in relationship to it and can guide you to one satisfying moment after another the other day Esther was at the airport we've told this story a few times we like it so much she was at the airport in San Diego and she got there about an hour early she usually does and she was just sort of roaming around following her impulses she bought a bottle of water and she sat for a little while and she likes to sort of notice what's going on around her to some extent and enjoy the people especially the children and there are a lot of dogs at the airport these days so there's a lot of entertainment to be had so she was moving around so she sat in one spot and then she got the impulse to go to the restroom and then she came back and chose another spot and then she got the impulse to go buy a bottle of water and then she sat in another spot spot and then she sat in another spot and then she went to check on the flight to see when it was coming it was a little bit delayed and then she sat down and so she'd moved around a lot during that hour and as she was sitting there the man next to her she had not noticed him before she sat down it was just an empty seat and he had his iPhone up to his ear and he was listening to something without 
earphones. And it was very quiet. Esther could not really hear it. But then she heard the word vibration. So she tuned a little closer to him. And then she realized he was listening to Abraham. And so she said to him, that's me. And he said, oh, he said, now I'm a believer. <laughs> he said, my daughter's been trying to get me to listen to this. And I'm just now listening to this. She's just not going to believe this. And Esther said, then we should take a picture.